Namaste. How's it going? You may want to try this technique with me. Place your tongue behind the bottom teeth towards the soft spot behind the gums. Yeah. Broaden your lips, dropping your teeth, and lightly activate your platysma muscles, the thin muscles of the neck. And then lightly pull the throat back. And inspire the breath with the mouth while the tongue is there. Where do you feel the sensation go? Down the hips, right? Either side, right and left, and towards the generative organs. Yeah. That's your Shadeshana chakra. And the technique is called the Plavini Pranayama, or the floating breath. The sacrum is associated with water. Therefore, this technique yeah, alleviates the heaviness of the hips, energizes the organs, yeah, the functions of our reproduction, elimination. It helps us attain deeper states of meditation, including pratyahara, yoga nidra, dharana, dhyana, even absorption. If you practice this in conjunction with your meditation techniques. Yeah. This is different from the shitkari. The shitkari is similar mouth placement, but the tongue is not going down there. Yes, as the tongue is just neutrally aligned in the center of the mouth. And instead of allowing the air or the sensation you know, to go down there, the shitkari you know, uh, enhances you know, the upper meridians, the chest and the brain. It's also different from the shitali, where it's more distinctive and more confined because the tongue is protruding forward. You know, and then you allow the breath you know, to go straight to the heart you know, and the brain as well. The plavini pranayama is distinctive. There's a mild activation of your platysma. It's like your neck forms the shape of the cobra position. And you're using the mental nerves and the muscles of the neck in directing the energy towards your Swadeshana chakra. Yeah. Plavini Pranayama, in the future, you'll be able to do it once you've gained that familiarity of the sensation. Yeah, you can also do it by inspiring through the nose. And the tongue remains there behind the bottom of the teeth. And you will feel the energy go straight to your pelvic cavity. Try it, yeah? It's quite interesting, the Flavini Pranayama, because there's only few lines about this mentioned in the books. It says, swallow the breath to your belly and then retain the breath, as short as that, yeah? Practice will help us realize and understand the essence of the words beyond yeah, their superficial meaning. I'll see you in the next one.